Good morning. It is Sunday, 7, a little bit a.m. Menti is outside over there and we're going to start running. morning it's going pretty good we got like 20 more minutes left to run and uh, did my 10 pull-ups 29 or 30 push-ups I'm not quite sure but I'm out of shape but I got there and I think this new way of vlogging the hustle vlog because I'm working the hustle planner to get myself going I think it's gonna be a cool way to motivate me so I'm gonna do this for at least a month and then let's see what turns out. Hopefully it becomes a nice habit. We get more productive. And I mean, look at this. The sun's rising in the background. The beaches are still waking up. The volleyball event is slowly getting started and I'm going back running. By the way, check out this nice half pipe. Might get back into skateboarding once I'm back in shape. A little fun fact, this harbor here is where I bought my first kite ever and uh, it's fun to be back here. Just one more stop before I'm running home but check out this boat. I mean, it's gigantic and it's really an unfair fight between the fish and the boat because it's so big. Look at these insane nets. I mean, they're not taking fish for personal consumption or something. I mean, they're scraping down the oceans, emptying it, destroying it. And for those of you who don't know this, but it's estimated that if in 2040, or in 2040, the oceans will die. If the oceans die, we die. Because the majority of our oxygen comes from the ocean. So these boats should be banned should be never ever allowed to leave the harbor again and to fish for a commercial purpose. And we arrive back home. Hello Menti. Good morning. Hello. Oh shit, I forgot to record, but I just striped it. The run, 30 push-ups, 10 pull-ups. Time to walk Lily. Leave my phone here and enjoy Lily, the outside, the nature, and relax a little bit. The first day of taking this seriously, and I have to say, I feel great. I feel quiet, I feel in control, I feel positive, I feel like I got a lot of things done already. The most important things for me personally in my life are already done. I had a phone call with Iratze, I ran for 50 minutes, 45, 50 minutes. I did my 30 push-ups, 10 pull-ups. I read in two books for about an hour and a half. And right now it's 11.15 or something. And I think I'm gonna go and skip the oats for uh, lunch. And I'm gonna make some really nice sandwiches with tomatoes, maybe some avocado on top of it. And uh, I'm gonna organize my to-do list and then get started. I mean, I'm looking forward to it. 
So the one thing I want to talk to you about is that it's super hard to deal with all the information coming to you on a day-to-day -day basis. I mean, I feel so overwhelmed and today and in the past weeks, of course, I've been experimenting with this and trying to observe myself, but I deleted Facebook from my app, avoiding me to do these nonsense scrolling. Every time I get my phone, I'm asking myself this question. Is it enhancing my life or is it taking time out of my life and do I need it? So it really is similar to, uh, I know if you saw the movie Confession of a Shopaholic, but which is a great movie by the way, but it's like she asks herself all the time, do I need this? And the real answer to that is no, you don't need it. I mean, there's so much information, great information, the best information, better than ever before. But we have, we all have this fear of missing out. We have this fear of we need to learn more because learning more gives us an excuse for not doing it actually. And I noticed this with myself and I noticed that my goals and my ambitions are super high, but I have to get started. And it starts with doing the little things. It starts with, uh, if you want to know more about this, go and buy the book, The One Thing. I was just reading it today as well. And for me, this is like, it's so logical. Everybody understands it but yet nobody applies it. So what the one thing is really about is that you should focus on the thing that will get you the most results and focus on that one thing. So many times, and I myself included, uh, have so many ideas, so many projects, so many things we wanna work on that we forget to work on the thing that is most important and gets us the results the quickest. If you're trying to catch two rabbits, you will not catch either one. If you can invest four hours a day because you have four different projects and you work 16 hours a day and you split them and divide them because you think you can handle this. Imagine what you could have done if you would have done only this one thing. So this one thing, 16 hours a day instead of four and then do that for a year. And if I would do that for a year and I would work 16 hours a day and you only do the four hours, it means I'm three years ahead of you. It compounds, it gets bigger and bigger. Uh, so learning how to focus and doing that better is what's getting results done. Now, of course, maybe you think this is total crap, total bullshit. If that's the case, ignore it, unsubscribe, don't be a part of this. But if you want to know more about productivity, getting things done, uh, follow me on this journey. If you're new to this channel, hit subscribe. If you like it, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, ask some questions, give me some tips maybe. Maybe you have more experience than I have and you've been searching for this longer than I have. Because in the end, you know, don't be afraid to fail because failure is just part of the road to success. And it was in kitesurfing like that, it was in poker like that, it's in entrepreneurship even bigger and even more so, but you have to start somewhere. And once you break it down into little pieces, you know exactly what you want, you go 100% all in on that certain thing and then you focus it, you break it down, you make mini chunks of little tasks that you have to do in order to get ahead, you'll see results. Trust me, you'll see results. It's amazing. It's, it, it, it's so simple, but it's the thing that works. Stop, stop using Facebook, stop consuming content, stop watching YouTube. If you do something, read, because reading is quiet. Reading lets the mind rest, reading, let you focus on this, just this one thing. And YouTube, even though I think and I feel like I learn faster watching people do, I feel like I'm learning to be quiet in my head mentally. And that's something I really, really need to improve on. So I'm gonna add meditation into my uh, daily to-do list as well for tomorrow. I got this one from my parents-in-law when they came and visit, but isn't that cool? I think it's really cool.
if you wanna get the best result possible, build the best app possible, build the best website possible, write the best text possible. It's not about your opinion, it's about the opinion of the person who's reading it that you're trying to sell to or that you're trying to attract, build a community with, get them to donate. You have to put yourself in their shoes and that's where empathy plays a big role. The old school CEO that is super hard and harsh, aka Steve Jobs type of CEOs, they have not much future anymore, I think, in um, in this world because more and more millennials are coming up with a whole different mindset and millennials are the new employees as well and they have a whole different mindset. So I honestly believe that it's it, it's huge change and it's a huge thing that that's happening there and user ex, user UX design user experience design is clearly the future for me and I really want to focus on that and build my agency around that and facilitate meetings to help people understand that, build a process, then from there go on and do the next thing. So that's what I did today. Um, actually, I have some other sheets. But if you're watching this, let me know, leave a comment down below and Tell me what you think about these vlogs. Are they too long? Are they not too long? Do that with every vlog. Give me some feedback. Help me out. And uh, yeah, let me, like help me build the best vlogging channel ever, uh, at least for you and me. So that's it for this vlog. Talk to you later. Bye.